guys welcome back still on the quest of enhancing uh, the recycler view we're going to be adding uh, the grid layout we earlier had the, the linear layout we have the grid layout and also the staggered grid we'll look at the grid layout and uh, we're going to be creating a custom image view which is going to act as a circular image view just like what you have in libraries out there we're going to actually have that beer bone custom view. Uh, we'll get to see uh, what it takes to create uh, a circular image view. And we'll be doing that by adding uh, a, a Kotlin class that's going to do all those funky things into the layout. Uh, so it's going to be like a custom image view layout. Uh, without much ado, let's get that started. Now we're going to uh, adjust one or two things like the row view get to see okay the row uh, the row item uh, which depicts the rows of each of uh, the item in a recycler view uh, we have this basically as a linear layout you could have a card view if you, if you want and uh, we have uh, an image view and we have the text view stack underneath uh, the image view we have the description visibility gone so we won't, we won't be having the description you could decide to also establish the description if you like uh, but we're only going to use uh, the the title so we have that set up and uh, we're pointing at a custom image view not the uh, default image view we know so we're going to create our own specific kind of image view which is going to actually be a circle image view uh, so you declare the width of the uh, of the circle which is uh, the, the edges are 6 dp and the color to be a kind of gray so it's actually not going to be so much visual and the width and height of the image should be 80 dp no changes in the activity main just uh, what we had earlier and uh, now let's get to look at the class in the circle image view uh, this extends the app compact image view uh, these are uh, bare bones where you could uh, create uh, different uh, metrics. Uh, the bitmap, get the shape, gets to do some uh, other things. We have the companion object where you need to send to crop the image and uh, also create the border, default border with color, even the background color and body overlay if uh, they are available. So I will put this to you to go through them. Uh, you could reuse it in any of your projects. Instead of you bringing in library, uh, you could actually make reference to this particular uh, class. And uh, from there, uh, you're going to have your circular image on point. Uh, so that's just it. Uh, a little adjustment goes in the custom adapter. Uh, when you're trying to bind uh, the, 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 the ID of a particular image because we're actually picking them from the drawable uh, you need to use the set image resource not set background resource this time once you use the set image resource it's actually going to pick that uh, functionality of the circular image view uh, alongside with the image itself so that's just straightforward uh, when you're trying to use the circular image view uh, to uh, bring out a much better outlay of your image. You could use that in profile image. You could use that in chart icons and things like that. In the main activity, we need to introduce our grid layout. Uh, as I've said earlier, we have the linear layout, the grid layout, and the staggered grid. And the grid layout is just the basic way you declare the linear lay layout. But this time, it's going to take two parameters. The context and the span count, like how many grids are you looking at? A grid is just like column of item, column, and uh, the row. So now you're going to look like how many columns and row are we looking at? You have three, a span count, so we're going to have three columns and three. Um, you can have multiple rows though, it depends on the content of, uh, of, uh, of, of, of the data, that's the length of the data, but now with dealing that with the row the columns that uh, the grid is actually going to show so you could have two grids could have three grids four five mention it depends on the space 
you could also as well uh, tweak something so that it's actually going to be uh, compatible with large with wider screens like tab uh, you get to look at uh, get the orientation or get the device itself if it's on a bigger screen you should have uh, more span counts uh, rather than having just two and a lot of white spaces so these are things uh, you could actually tweak when you're dealing with grid layout so you call on the grid layout manager and pass the context and the span count that's just all that's the only change you're going to do in a main activity and from there you have the grid layout uh, integrated into uh, your application so that's just all that's the basic thing we'll be uh, laying us on and uh, we could have a wonderful uh, looking layout like this look at how the the grids uh, the, the, we have three, three three columns over here and look at how the images are set side by side and uh, with a circular feel you could see the gray circular around each of the uh, uh the item cupcake donuts eclairs fryo gingerbread and so on so achieving this is so much easy uh just uh you make reference to the circle image view and uh, tweak uh, the layout to the grid layout manager and as well you need to adjust the way the raw item which is going to be the item of the recycler bit is actually going to look like based on the design uh, you are you're pointing at so that's just the basically the next video will be looking at uh, the swipe to delete we'll also be doing search uh, we'll be doing a lot of things on recycler view based on Kotlin programming language so thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout the, this video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, so you could have a lot of videos a lot of Android programming tutorials to to learn from and uh, also uh, turn on the notification so that you could actually get uh, notified if I upload any video to the channel thank you very much and God bless